Once you determine all of these root causes, you may find that you want to address each of them. It's natural to want to do, try to do that. However, for a Paul's debrief, addressing all of the root causes isn't the goal. The process of doing root cause analysis helps you focus on the modifiable high impact targets for your policy brief. As you go through this process, you start with all potential root causes before you narrow these down to the ones that you can modify. Next, you limit your options to those with the highest expected impact before finally identifying a critical cause or a small number of critical causes to target. This critical cause represents the modifiable root cause or causes expected to have the highest impact on your health problem. Your policy brief will then analyze multiple options to address this critical cause. Returning to our fishbone, imagine that when you're working with your team, you determine that improving supply monitoring is the highest impact, most modifiable root cause that you want to target in your policy brief. You might reason that stockouts are linked to monitoring of vaccine supply at the central medical stores, and that if these supply problems can be fixed, stockouts would be less likely. Fixing supply monitoring and supply chain issues, then, is our critical cause and the target of our policy brief. There are likely several ways to improve monitoring, and those approaches would become our policy options. We'll discuss more about how to write your problem statement and include your critical cause or causes as your policy target as we move through the program.